but how, how can I help you? I have an interesting question for you. Um, I went through many years of abuse and back then, of course, I was a people pleaser. What kind um, of abuse? Then I, well, childhood abuse by a man, if that gives an idea. And then I went through abuse um, at a church mm-hmm. where it was a very cult oriented, highly controlling. Um, yeah. I've always wanted to do what's right in my life. So in spite of everything I went through, the people I was raised around, I try to always go to the good to do better. And I was sucked in by an unhealthy church. Um, Sorry. Anyway, I felt like I always, thank you, always had the please, 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 and nothing was ever good enough. I mean, it's kind of like you're a multi-personality. You're this for this person, this for that person, that person. Yeah. Um, Anyway, I got out of all that. I've been away from it for 10 years. So now, coming out of that, you learn to set boundaries with people. But I became too defensive. And I'm wanting to... Too defensive? Yeah. What would be an example of too defensive? Well, guarded is different than Um, defensive. Okay. Just too demanding of what I want, what I need. Um, not able to uh, be my kind self that I really am. In, in yeah. other words, I'm a very kind person, like? but what, I have a fear it, what, being what, myself. What, what would it? What would it look like? Give me a concrete example that you're calling too, too demanding, or you know. <laughs> Well, like in customer service, if uh, they don't they don't do my order right, they're going to hear it. Well, they're going to hear mine too. I told I you to do it. That it's demanding. So what? Let 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 me hear it. I'm customer service. Okay. <laughs> so Jennifer, how can I help you today? Um, I like to get a slice of the pizza over there. Can I? Do you have any fresh pizza? You know, we do. Um, what can we have? Pepperoni and we have cheese and we have the codependent special that has nothing on it, but people seem to like it anyway and thank us for selling it to them. Oh, you don't have any of the meat pizza you usually have? No, I'm sorry. We're out of that. But w- which of the other three would you like? Uh, well, I was really wanting that meat pizza, but I guess yeah. I'll take a cheese pizza. Okay, great. Get that out to you. Should be there in under 30 minutes. If we don't hit anybody. What um what was demanding about that? That was so nice. Well I would love to be your customer service person. Okay, well, <laughs> this generation of people are not nice like you just were to me. <laughs> um so the customer service is really you didn't give me the the real the real Jennifer. Yeah, I am usually a little more frustrated because okay, they're not nice back. to let's me go back. like let's you go back were. And do it again. Let's go back and do it again. Hi, Dr. Klaus Pizza Parter. How may I help you? <laughs> I like to get a um, one of your supreme pizzas. Well, we 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 don't have that today. All we've got is the cheese and and the you know well, the, the other crappy one. I I can't remember what it was. That's all we got. What do you want? What do you mean Hurry, you don't I, got that? Got it's on your other, menu. I know it's on the menu, but I'm telling you, we don't have it. But I'm in a hurry here. What do you want? Well, you're in a hurry. I'm your customer. What do you mean you're in a hurry? Yes, the customer is usually on the end of the phone that calls us. I understand that. What do you want? If you don't tell me, I got other people here that can tell me what they want. Now, tell me what you want, lady. Well, first and foremost, the way you're treating me as a customer is inappropriate. Okay, I'm sorry. I don't have time for and this. And I, I, I give you a job. I don't have time for that. I'm going to give you one more chance. You want a pizza or not? I got to go. All right, bye. Okay, Dr. Cloud. <laughs> I think that? you get the idea there. <laughs> All right. So, but, but l- let me just, here's what I want you to look at. I want you to go around to some people that you feel like you have been demanding 
and you feel like you've gone too far and you're being overly defensive. And I want you to ask them if they experienced you that way, because I didn't, if that's the best you got, you're like the nicest person I've talked to in a long time. Okay. So here's what happens. Okay, but I don't get that, that are, response from them, Dr. Cloud. They get mad at me. Matter. They say I'm, it, I don't care. I don't care what the wackos okay. get angry at people. We're, we're not, we're not going to live life worrying about how, how rageaholics respond to us. There's no greater way to be out of control of your life than that. So we don't care mm. how they respond. What we do care about is what you called in and you care about. It's a wonderful thing to care about. And that is that you want to define what you want and speak the truth and not feel like you have to wiggle and give in and you want to do it with love. And that's how I experienced you. Now, what happens a lot of times if people come from a people pleasing background, they tend to judge their requests as too demanding. And I'm thinking that maybe well, you the response I'm getting from yourself. society. I don't care. It's the response I'm getting from society. And I mean, I, I know, I know, I know, I know, but that's how this thing went screwy to begin with, because you, you lived in an abusive environment, you lived in an abusive church. The church said, you're being a sinner. You shouldn't be doing that. You should deny yourself. You should do whatever we want you to do. That's the response you got. And that shaped you. And so what I'm but asking Dr. Claude, I'm going to be honest with you. I know people are listening, but what about the fact if you're asked to not come back to a store because they are not happy with the fact that you are open with what you want when in reality you shouldn't be asked you have no reason to not be able to come back to that store that's just you their own wait, stop, for their stop. behavior stop you do have a reason to not come back they're idiots somebody asked you, well you put in an that. order and they say don't come back to the store why can't you shake see the i get mad at myself for that exactly and that's what i'm telling you the internal judgment of your aggressive drive, which is a good drive. Aggression doesn't mean rage and anger and, you know, hurting somebody. It's just energy that pushes things forward. Like an aggressive, aggressive company is going into new markets and all that. They can be very nice in the process, but if people are abused, and here's one of the things that goes into the very cellular structure of what composes PTSD, is when people are abused, most of the time they are limited and powerless in their ability to push back because they're going to be hit or further hurt or guiltified or something. And so your, your pushing back gets judged inside. And I want you to be released from that so you can push back and not feel bad about it if you're doing it in a loving way. And to do that, you got to get some other eyeballs on this besides the wackos. I agree. Okay. So here's what I would do. I'm just telling you, you haven't sounded demanding and defensive and angry anything to me. And I kicked you out of the pizza parlor. <laughs> <laughs> You were still nice, right? You're so, so funny. So, so here's what I want you to do. I want you to get a group, and I want you to go have experiences and come into the group or get a few friends. Say, I'm testing out my demandingness, and go set a couple limits and boundaries and tell them how it went and do what you did for me. Show, me what, show them what you actually said and get their feedback because this has got to be right-sized. Okay, I got to run. Thank you for your call. I want to make this comment about that, though, because, um, Jennifer, you brought up such a uh, such an important point. Um, and that is when we haven't used a function and a function like assertiveness or aggression or telling the truth or making a, a request or a demand. When we haven't used it or it was injured and subject to judgment, then it's not going to be mature, right? It's not gonna be mature. What that maturity cycle takes practice and feedback. And so that's a good thing to have. 
I've seen people like almost apologize for the air that they're breathing. Like they feel bad about taking up some air. I'm making a metaphor there, but kind of, you know, it's like they feel bad about existence. Part of boundaries is defining your property line. If you go to boundaries.me and look at the course there, it talks about the treasures on your property and your soul, your feelings, your attitudes, your behaviors, your wants, your desires, your talents, your thoughts, your limits, your values, and your loves. All of those things live on your property. And for you to communicate those to the world is an expression. Look at my book, Changes at Heal. There's a whole section on this. It is an expression of the image of God in you. What does God do? He says what he likes and doesn't like. He says what he wants and what he doesn't want. And he returns a pizza, right? Remember they gave him sacrifices? Then he looked at and said, I don't want this stuff. You want to give me a sacrifice that matters? Then go take care of a poor person. Fix injustice where you find it. Care about the broken. And bring me that pizza, I'll be happy with you. And then he said, and then your lights will shine and everything good is going to happen. But don't bring me this. See, God tells people what he doesn't like. In Proverbs, he says there's six things that he hates. Psalm 101, David gives a whole list of things that he doesn't like in people and he will not put up with it. That's not bad. But you have to do it in love. You have to do it in love.